Hello, I'm Ian, and this is our final project for CS428 at UIC. And so for our final project, we were tasked with uh, decorating and, you know, basically enhancing this entire building. And so uh, here we've changed up how we're uh, doing the locomotion. So now instead of being able to just walk around by yourself, now we have these specified teleport points to go to. And so we'll start off with this one. So this is, of course, the same lobby that we had in our project two. Of course, now we have some teleport points here, so we can teleport directly to each of these points. And these uh, objects still work as expected, so I can go ahead and I can get one of those to just appear by buying it through the kiosk. And so <coughs> uh, if we go over here, we'll end up here at the floor of philosophy with a very funny guy staring at us. Don't worry about him. But here we have the floor of philosophy with uh, the patron librarian Hakama. So if we go over here, we can hear some music playing from the angel statue. And there's also oops, there's also a little uh, picture of Hakama's mentor Ayan. And so that's kind of an inside joke if you haven't played Library Brew enough. But anyway, if you go over here and if we pull this lever, after a little transition, it'll start playing uh, some of his battle music from the game. Yeah, there we go. So while that nice music is playing, we'll go over here, and now we have our new Ego to play with. And so the, down there we had Ego from the floors of uh, the first four floors, and now we have the Ego from the floor of philosophy. And so if we pop this here, we have this giant scythe, and then we'll just pop in a few more. So here we have giant spear, and this is. Oops, hold on, just fell. But here we have the giant staff, and so these are holdable, funnily enough. And so these weapons are supposed to be used by this guy's as minions, and so that's kind of why they're all you know giant sized instead of human sized. All right, and then we go back. All right, so now we'll move on to the floor of philosophy with patron librarian Bina, and so here we have some nice uh like more darker ambience in contrast to the white ambience up there and so here we have some grabbable objects so for instance you can grab this teacup and saucer and then there's also these uh, little glowing stars that we can you know throw around and knock into each other and then if we change the music here there we go now we can hear uh bina's music start playing so let's go back and then let's visit uh, okay here we are so this is kind of just the lobby area it's not really tied towards any specific floor in, in particular but since of course this is a building meant to be used by students we do have kind of just a lobby area for people to hang out and if we pull the lever here it'll change music and there we go all right, moving on, so that's the kiosk. So we'll move on here to the thumb. And so this is one, kind of one of the organizations in Library of Ruina. So here we have some rifles. And so as you might be able to tell from the uh, logo up here, the thumb is like a gun-based organization that uses a lot of guns. And if we pull this lever, we'll start, have some different music start playing. There we go. Alright, and then now to on to our final destination, the Index. And so the Index is also an organization in Library of Ruina. And so if we pop over to this lever and switch it. And now we have some music from the Index to start playing. If we teleport over here, we have a little scroll which is meant to uh, symbolize the prescripts that the Index gives to their members. And so those are kind of like... Uh, cryptic commands there. All right, and that's it. Thank you.